I'm not a big fan of regrets. Generally speaking, they're a waste of mental energy. However, there are times when the mistakes or the missed opportunities of the past are useful, especially when they can be used to inform the present, uh, to allow you to make changes and improvements, and also they can be helpful for other people that are just starting to establish themselves so that they can plan better and not repeat those mistakes that you made. So in this video I want to talk about something that I failed to do when I planned my homestead here and which I'm trying to reincorporate back in though there's difficulties always in doing that in going back and trying to reinvent things. You'll understand better as I explain what I'm talking about. But to give you a little background, I have absolutely no regrets about the fact that I have chosen a life that is largely uh, in pursuit of self-reliance and to create a homestead to grow my own food. My happiest memories of my childhood when I spent time in the vegetable garden with my father. He often did his gardening before breakfast and probably would spend say an hour out in the vegetable garden before breakfast I would get up early with him and then after breakfast he could go about the business of his day in terms of earning money and so on. But that hour before was dedicated to the gardening to feed the family and that has been a, a big influencing factor in my choices in life. My father was also into goats, he had a lot of goats and kept goats and milked goats. But what he wasn't into was poultry. And even though I had some poultry when I was young, I never really came to understand how they could be used in relationship to vegetable gardening. And really it is only in very recent times, probably in the last year or two, that I have come to comprehend how poultry, uh, what we call chooks here in Australia, or chickens to many of you, but I'll probably be referring to them as chooks quite frequently in this video because that's what uh, I'm used to calling them. How they can be used in relation to growing vegetables and also in an orchard to actually improve soil, control pests, and generally in management and rotation. Permaculture has some good ideas in this direction and if you are researching I'd suggest research those thoughts from permaculture. Also there's some good videos on YouTube as to how you can utilize the chooks in relation to your garden. Now it's much easier if you set things right from the beginning. If you actually think about this in the process of planning. When you have a reasonably blank slate and are creating your garden if you think about it then it's going to be a lot easier to manage them. Now to illustrate what I'm talking about I've got a little diagram here that I want you to have a look at. This diagram is not meant to be the ideal it's just a diagram I've created to illustrate what I'm talking about and how you could lay things out if you were starting from scratch. Now you probably wouldn't realistically want things as square as what I've got here. But what I'm talking about is, is if you were to create a run through the centre of your growing area where you've got a chook house probably on the, well here it's the southern side in the northern hemisphere it would be the other way around. Though the sun was coming on it there's no obstacles to the sun coming down. And then you're able to use this central chook run to distribute easily open gates and allow them to move into cropping zones or into your greenhouse at the right time of the year and you could rotate them through these areas as the crops finish you can bring them in and let them clean it up and fertilize it you could put green manures in and then bring them after green manures again to help mix that green manure into the soil and this way you're continually able to use them without having to 
uh, use a, a chicken tractor type thing or to actually you know physically relocate them you're just able to open some gates and let them through and the same process could be used in relation to your orchard you would probably want to divide your orchard and to think a little bit in terms of organizing trees on when they are coming into cropping because you don't always want uh, the birds in there when the crop is coming down because you may want to be able to pick up some fruit off the ground but putting them into the area that isn't currently fruiting and rotating around as the season dictates having a central location like this would make it really easy and this is the type of thing that I would try and create if I was starting fresh however I'm not I have an existing garden where I didn't actually think about that so let's look at the situation that I have this is an aerial photo of my garden and what I have laid out currently the chook house is over on this side and there is a small run around that I have two areas so that I can rotate and plant in those areas usually I plant something like some wheat uh, or some oats in it and then put them into that while I grow something in the other side I positioned it in this area because this area was probably the best for all year sun and good warmth and so it was good for their health however my main orchard is right over this side far far away from them and in between I've got our main living space which look I know a lot of people have poultry around their living area and in front of their houses and so on personally I really dislike that I <laughs> don't like going outside and having to watch where I step so I like to keep them out of this main living space and in terms of vegetable gardening you need to control them you don't want them to have free reign because they are going to damage plants so what can I do now in this situation well as I say if it's very difficult to go back and create this type of ideal but what I am going to do and I've worked out is to create some extra fences uh, you may see where I put some red lines on here and part of that is actually extension out beyond my existing fence part of it is actually within the fence to create some divisions now this is not all going to happen uh, rapidly it may take me even a two maybe even three years to complete this type of plan and it might alter as I go because I'll be learning from experience as I incorporate it but the first stage that I'm going to commence is to create a new fence along here outside of my existing fence which is this one and what that will do is it will give me some extra area for the chooks to actually run in I also will be able to utilize some of this ground for growing this soil along here which is easterly facing the Sun comes up and gets that in the early morning is really quite nice soil and it has a, a slope so there is reasonably good drainage what am I going to grow there well the first thing on the priority list is that I want to try with a couple of avocado trees it's a place that I can get good shelter from the wind I would also like to grow a mandarin in the area I'm growing currently my citrus in the chook pen and they are thriving and doing really well the other area up here I would like to experiment seasonally with growing uh, some chickpeas probably that's my first goal is to try some chickpeas because we use chickpeas quite a bit so to try and grow our own would be a really interesting thing this area here also there is quite a bit which I could incorporate but I'm going to make it a secondary priority because the soil across here really isn't very good it's quite uh, clay and it would take quite a bit of work to develop that into a cropping area though it is a larger area and I could 
experiment with bigger crops in that so I'll certainly be considering it. The second element to bring in here is that in this corner I've got the kiwi fruit. Now currently I do some mowing around the kiwi fruit and they do take quite a bit of maintenance. The fence that I have here is too close to the kiwis so I would probably remove this fence and bring the fence around here and incorporate this into a single section which could be managed as one and that would make it easier for pruning these kiwis and also reduce the amount of mowing that I need to do. So that is probably the second priority to this sec first section here. Over in this corner I can create where I fell these trees I can create a further section quite simply with a little extra fence. I probably would use it as an extension and take this fence out and make this section larger. Also I by adding a couple of fences one across here and a little one around here I can allow them to come into some of the main cropping areas when I'm not actively cropping in them and use the chooks in these areas for the type of thing I was talking about to actually come in after the crop and clean it up and fertilize it as they do. So that is my plan to come and retrofit this type of ideal into my homestead. So my advice to anyone that is starting out is to really think hard and to try and incorporate this type of planning into your design because it's so much easier as I said earlier when you have a blank slate to actually do this type of thing but for myself I'm going to have to do some hard work and do some fencing now and that will be the subject of the next video